and welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing St. Louis City SC1, Real Salt Lake 1, and MLS 2024 Week 1, St. Louis's home opener and first game of the season in MLS. Of course, RSL playing their second. It's a draw. St. Louis starts with a draw after getting a win in Champions Cup in the midweek, but I'd rather it be a weekend draw and a midweek win than the other way around. So, I will take what we can get. A 1-1 draw is very fair, I would say. I think a 1-1 draw is very, very fair compared to winning or just losing the game outright. Nil-nil at the half. Game was very... I would say very tight in the first half. Yes, City was the slightly better team, but RSL had some moments. City did put the ball forward, but they had to just keep building attacks. They just couldn't keep pushing the pressure. They had to keep coming forward and keep creating attacks instead of just having the ball past the midway line, half past that second to last third. They had to keep creating and it just didn't end well for them. And RSL made some good defensive plays as this game went on. As this game went on, they made some really good defensive plays. And I liked how it went, per se. I think they did a very good job defensively as this game progressed. But there you go. 74th minute, Chicho Arango scores a goal. He basically just burns the defense like toast, takes a shot, puts it past Berkey to make it nil one. And RSL has a goal against the run of play. But to be honest, they were getting better in that second half. They were getting better chances in the second half, pushing the ball forward better in the second half. You kind of expected them to get a goal like that because let's be honest, the way that second half was going, you kind of felt like RSL was going to break the dam. Then in the 79th minute, Sam Adenarin answers back, makes a run into the box, curls the ball in to the top corner. Nothing McMath could do about it. It's 1-1. St. Louis ties it up. And that's what they'll take into full time. 1-1 draw. Pretty fair. You could say the header. No, Rongo was offside on that header. You can't even question it. But let's say he was onside. It would have been 2-1. But still, St. Louis still... I think it was a pretty even game in the second half. I think overall the game was even. A 1-1 draw is pretty fair. And I'll, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Full-time stats. 14 shots, 16. 5 shots on goal to 2. 40% possession to 60% possession. 350 passes to 578. 64% pass accuracy to 79. 15 fouls to 13. 0 offside to 6. 1 yellow card to 0. 0 red card to 0. 4 corners to 7. Again, I think the game was pretty even. I think St. Louis had really good offensive moments defensively. They had to make some really good defensive plays, so I'm not going to say they played horribly defensively or played questionably defensively. I think they did good enough defensively. Thorison, amazing. Nervinsky with that goal line clearance late in the game. Berkey had a good game. I liked the way St. Louis played. I really did. RSL's offense, they, they wanted something in that second half. You could tell. They were like, you know what? That first half went better than we expected. We have a chance to win this game or even get a point, get something out of this, especially after losing on the midweek to Miami. It was like, we have a chance to get something out of this. And they played very well in that second half. And they wanted to at least get something out of the match, if not get multiple points, not just one point. But I think they were good with a draw. It's better to at least get one point in two matches in week one than zero points. Technically, you could say St. Louis got four points in two matches because with the Champions Cup, in theory, you know, one win, one draw. But MLS, they don't have four points. They just have one. But St. Louis, again, they care more about Champions Cup. You could tell. The way St. Louis played, they were not buzzing like they were against Houston. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because I would rather them be buzzing in the Champions Cup, getting good results there, than getting a result, getting a win here and not getting anything against Houston. But they do have a good comeback feature now. They weren't really comeback kids last year. They just steamrolled people. This year, 
And I think they learned something, especially for the big games, is you need to come back or answer back better. And, oh, well, they did. Because their goal against Houston to win, Kojima, that was an answer back moment. A mistake led to it, but still. Also, a Adenarin answers back, ties the game up, and it stands that way. I like this new St. Louis answer back mojo, right? I would rather them answer back and win games and draw games like that than steamroll people. And then once the playoffs come, once the big games come, things are going to be different. See, I think they learned something, and this game shows it. The Houston game kind of shows it, but they were playing their old way. This shows St. Louis could play the it's going to be tough way, but we could come back if we're down, or we could play tough, we could play a big team, we can beat a big team in a big game. See, I think this is what this game is showing. It's a lot more positive than you would think if you're a St. Louis fan. It's like, okay, yeah, the performance wasn't the best, yeah, they were sort of sapped. Yeah, they put everything out on the Champions Cup pitch. Of course, they're not going to look as good. Good. But they still got a draw, even playing questionably. They still got a draw. They still got a point. They came from behind to get that point. And it shows they have a mojo of they can score when things get tough. They are not done when things get tough. Because if you remember last year, well, let's look at the America game. Let's look at the Columbus game. Let's look at the Open Cup game against Chicago. Let's look at the regular season game against Chicago. Let's look against the Kansas City series. Once they went down, they were cooked. St. Louis really only won their games if they were steamrolling people. Right? And that's what it was. If St. Louis was steamrolling teams, they would win. If they went down, most likely they were cooked. You could tell in their mentality. But with another year and learning that lesson and the hurt that that playoff series brought to these players, and they didn't really change much. I mean, of course, they have Totland, who's a good player. They've changed a couple of things. Bringing in Durkin, which I think we need some more defensive help. Just because of the fact, you know, you want some more cooler heads to prevail. But again, you look at it and you say, okay, all right. They learned from the situation of they got cooked when they went down. Who knows? Maybe they'll still finish that high in the West. Maybe they will finish second or third or first and still do good in bigger games. But I could see them falling. As I said, I could see them falling a bit in the West, in the league to do better in bigger games. And so far, that trend is holding, of course. But again, you still see the St. Louis can answer back. And that's the big thing about this game is they didn't play their normal selves. They were a bit tired. They had question marks. They didn't play like you would think St. Louis would play or how they played on Tuesday night. But they still got a point. They came from behind. They got it done. I like the answer back. I like the energy. They didn't shrink when that goal went in from Chicho Orongo. They did not shrink. And you could tell something is different about this team. It's like, okay. They didn't shrink. They answered the bell. Did they win? No. Is a draw fair? I think it is fair. Do I wish they won? Yes. But they answered the bell which is something you want to see from this team because they did not answer the bell last year when they needed to answer the bell. If they were ringing that damn bell, oh, they were amazing. If they had to answer a bell, ooh, no. No. It was, it was a whole different thing. It was like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Now they can answer a bell. This team might be better than we think. Just saying. And, I mean, they did it, of course, in the Champs Cup game as well. So, I mean, two weeks in a row... Or two games in a row. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about St. Louis. So, get, player of the game. Man of the match. Player of the game. Was I trying to say game of the player? I, I don't know. Player of the game. Man of the match. Sam and Dennerin. He got the equalizer. Good for him. And we'll give it to him. Sam and Dennerin. So, with that being said... If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell your friends, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. 
Hit that bell notification if you want to subscribe. Send some chats on the live streams. Comment on this video. Put us in play. Share us friends and family. All that great stuff. I will see you tomorrow for a live watch along and review of FC Cincinnati versus Toronto FC and a live watch along of LA Galaxy versus Inter Miami CF. I'll see you at 125 for the TFC game. Then, of course, at 725 for the LA game. The RSR will be up by then, of course. There you go. So, way before then. So, there you go. There you go. Good job, St. Louis. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you.